this is Srikant Nangarla. Please subscribe and share it and comment. Thank you. It's a class object we can discuss today. And then what is a static? What is a non-static? This is the topics we will cover today. First of all, what is class? Generally, we are discussed now. It's not related to the programming. Generally, we are discussed what is a class. For example, we have the three members. Means Anil, Chendu and we can go for the Charan. And I am also Srikant. Okay. So, these four members, these four objects belongs to which category? I am asking these Chandra, Chendu, Anil, Srikant. These four members belongs to which category? Why category? So, category is nothing but class. Once again, these four okay, names, Chandra, Anil, Chendu, Srikant. These four objects belongs to particular category. That is we are calling as a boy category. And for example, I have the ceiling fan. I have the table fan. I have the exist fan. So these three objects belongs to which category? Fan category. So category is nothing but class we are calling. So in this world, every object belongs to one category. In this world, any object you can take that is belongs to one class only. Class is nothing but it is a one category. In that category, lot of objects are available. So, in this world, every object belongs to one category. Category is nothing but class. Every class having the many objects. And every object having the some properties and that can do the some actions also. Means, in one category, for example, I will give it here. This is we are calling as a Anil and this is we are calling as a Charan and this is we are calling as a Chandu and this is we are calling as a Shrikan. So, these four objects belong to which category? Boy category. So, this category is nothing but we are calling as a class. And this class below, this is one object, one object, one object, one object. These four objects having some properties that can do some actions also. For example, and this person having the name property, height property, color property, weight property, like that all the properties are available. And this person can speak, eat, sleep. This person all, like that some actions also can perform. So, in one category, so many objects are available. Each and every object having some properties, some actions. Coming to the properties, programmatically variables we are calling. Because of property can store the value. Variable also can store the value. For example, name. What it can store? Srikant. Here also same. Variable can store the value. So, properties we are calling programmatically variable. Same manner, action. It can perform some action that we are calling as a method we are calling here programmatically. Method or function we are calling. So, every object having some properties, some actions. That we are calling as a programmatically variables methods we have. For example, this is a we have the name, 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 name. Like that name property is there. Height, 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 height property is there. Same manner, all the four members are sleeping and eating, doing the action. So every object can have some properties some actions it can do. Properties we are calling as a programmatically variable. Actions we are calling as a method we are calling. So, 
what is my intention here means every object having some variables and some methods but all the variables having common properties common methods that we are calling as a static variables static methods we are calling once again in one category in one class many objects are available each and every object having some properties and some actions that properties that actions are common for all the object in this class that all the static variables we are calling non static okay static variables static methods we are calling so in many objects means in one class all the objects having common variables common methods means common actions so that we are calling as a static variable static methods we are calling once again in this world every object belongs to one category category is nothing but class and every class having so many objects and every object having some properties and it can do the action so one category all the objects having common properties and common actions that we are calling as a static variables static methods we are calling for example and all having number of hands two only this is a common for all number of hands equal to two number of eyes equal to two this is a common for all the objects in the boy category action all are sleeping all are eating this is a actions are common static variables we are calling static methods we are calling but what is a non static variable non static method in one class object to object property will be different object to object method will be different that we are calling as a non static variable non static method we are calling what is a non static non static variable in one class every object to object properties will be different methods will be different so that we are calling as a non static variables non static methods we are calling coming to the here one example once again i can repeat and then i'll give the example what is the here we are discuss now in sense class and object what is the class in this world every object belongs to one category category is nothing but class every class having the some objects every object having some variables and some methods common variables we are calling as a static variable static methods different variables different methods for each and every object that we are calling as a non static methods for example i'll give one on diagram now we are understanding is a boy is a class in this boy this is one object this is one object this is one object this is one object so these all the objects having the common information that is we are calling as a static different information for each and every object that is we are calling as a non static for example static non static i mean to the here static static variable and this we are calling as a static method for example i can go for here non static variable non static method we are calling yes yes yes
Yes, 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 yes. Static or non-static, both will be available, right? And coming to the here, yes, coming to the here, and no, this is all the objects having common information. Number of hands, this is a common variable. Number of eyes, this is a common variables. So static variables were called. Different for each and every object. Name is a different. Surname is a different. This is a object to object different. This one. But this number of hands, number of eyes, object to object is the same only. Same manner methods, actions, sleeping, all are sleeping, eating, all are eating. Ob all the objects, these actions are same. So static methods, non-static methods. What is the non-static methods? Every object to object, that action will be different. For example, my interested game is a different. My study is different. So this is we are calling as the actions are different. So this is we are calling as a static information, non-static information. Once again, what is a class and object? In this world, every object belongs to one category. Category is nothing but class. Every class having many objects. All the objects having common variables, common methods, that is we are calling as a static variable, static methods. Every object, every object to object, variables are different, methods are different. That we are calling as a non-static variable, non-static methods we are calling. Coming to the here, now we are understanding what is a static, what is a non-static. Static, very simply, common information, object to object in one class. Different information for object to object in one class, non-static we are calling. Okay, you are understanding what is a class, what is a object, what is a static what is a non-static? Now coming to the, these all we are understanding theoretically, but how we can go for the practically? First, I want to declare one class by name is boy. See, public class, class name is boy. This is I am declaring. Now here this is a open braces and this we are calling as a uh, some close braces. This we are calling as a close braces. And this class, I want to declare the static information. I can give the comment static information. I want to declare first. I want to declare the static variable. What is the static variable? Number of hands. What it can store number of hands? Integer value. So data type I can use the integer. So number of hands and this is we are calling is an integer now this is i can use it public now if you use the here keyword is a static then this variable we are calling as a static variable we are calling if you mention keyword is a static that variable we are calling as a static variable we are calling for example another one number of eyes and this is integer. Now we are declaring access modifier is a public. Now we can go for the data type. This we are calling as a static. We can go for that. So this is how we can go for the here. Static variables if you want to declare. Now we can use the this is a keyword. And non-static no need to use that static keyword. Okay. This is we are calling as a static variables we are declaring. Variable name data type and keyword and access modifier and this is a syntax same manner i want to go for the static methods actually how we can declare the static methods see here what is the static method first we can write the function name otherwise method name this is a braces you need to write compulsory and here you can write the void otherwise you can write the data type 
and then this is we are calling as an access modifier. Open braces, close braces. Within the between here you can write the lot of set of actions and which can perform particular task. This is we are calling as a method we are calling, function we are calling. So what is the syntax of the function or method? Function name and braces you can go for that. And you can go for the wide and the data type. And then we can go for the access modifier. Then we can go for the access modifier. This is we are calling as a open braces of the class. This is a closed braces of the class. So like that we can declare the method. If you mention here static keyword, that is we are calling as a static method. If you not mention, that is we are calling as a non-static method. Okay. Now I can start the declaring static methods. What is the static methods? Sleeping, eating. This is the static methods I want to declare here. Public, wide. If you mention the wide in the method, that method cannot return any value. That method cannot return any value. This is the meaning of wide. Now I can write sleeping. In this method, I want to write the logic here. System dot out dot just a printing statement. Logic for sleeping. This is I can write to display the whenever we are calling this method. But this method is a static method, so I can give it as a static keyword here. So this is we are calling as a static method. Once again, another method eating we can go for that and this is a wide i can use it if this method is static now i can use the static and access modifier we can write it now open braces close braces system dot out dot printer len now i can write logic for eating this is a we can write it like this so this is we are calling as a static methods and this is we are calling as a static variables we are calling. Coming to the non-static variable, non-static methods. Non-static variable. Name. This is a name. What is the data type? String we can write it. This is we are calling as a public. That we are calling. You are not using the keyword as a static. That is we are calling as a non-static. Surname. String and this we are calling as a public. I am not declared anything static. So non-static variables we are calling. Same manner methods. Interested game. So this is a braces. We need to go for compulsory. Wide. That method cannot return any value. We can go for the public. Open braces, close braces. System dot out dot printer length. Now I can go for the logic for interested game. You can write it. Same manner non-static method also I want to declare. Okay now. This is the way you can go for the declare the static variable non-static variable. Okay fine. We are declaring theoretically everything. We are written in the okay like that. But I want to go for the practical implementation. So I want to create the class. So what is the navigation to create the class? If you want to go for the class, now we need to create the, okay, if you want to go for the class, we have the navigation. So what is the navigation? We need to create the class. Now see, uh, I can go for here. Right. Oh, fine. Uh, I think this is somewhat problems facing. Right. I'm closing this. Uh, this we are calling as a eclipse.
Right. So oh, it's working my system. Huh? It's not my system. My system is working. Only Eclipse will be working. Okay, I can close this Eclipse. Control or delete. The CS. And I can go for the closing my Eclipse. Uh, this is Eclipse. I want to close it. Yeah. All right. Uh, actually, some issuance is coming. Uh, not a problem. I will. Uh, okay, fine. Now this is we can go for the. I'm closing this one. Not a problem. Okay, fine. Now once again I can open the Eclipse. Double click on this Eclipse. Now it will start the opening. Yeah. In this Eclipse, I want to start the creating the class. How to create the class? Already we have discussed in our last class. Okay. So how to go for the our class? See here, uh, I can go for the our Eclipse. This is a. I can go for the package. Right click on the class. New. Right click on the package. Sorry, right click on the package. This is we can go for that. Right click on the package. Right click on the package. New class. Now, here I'm creating the class. My name is Boy. And I don't want to select the public static white main. Just so I'm declaring the static non-static information. So I'm creating the class. So this is we are calling as a class. And this is we are calling as an ending of the class. This is our open braces. And this we are calling as a close braces. So and you can go for the this is a open braces and close braces. And if you come into the here, this is we are calling as a open braces and uh, close braces and here i want to start writing yeah i can go for this right uh, i can go for this this also and then I can type it. This is a class. Uh, I can go for uh, this is a. Oh, my system is having some problem. Open braces and then close braces. Here I can declare the, our class. So, what we can go for here? This is a. I'm declaring the static information and non static information. So what we are declaring the static and non-static means. So once again, one more time, I want to go for the closing this class. So I should do some mistakes. I don't want to say. Now this is refreshing my right. I think it's uh, overheat my laptop. Okay. Right. Uh, anyway, I want to close some of the applications. Right. Now this is. Sorry for this, friends. Yeah, I'm creating the. This is the class. One of the class. 
and here uh, this is we can go for that and we can go for the this is the class open braces of the class close braces of the class now here i can declare the static or uh, static information so first i can declare static information public static and integer number of number of hands this is we can declare this is a static variable same manner public static and this we are calling is a integer number of eyes this is we are calling as a static variable then static method public static void and we can go for the sleeping this is we can write it this is a method and open braces and we can go for the close braces yeah we can go for the open braces and close braces this is we can write it here and then uh, we can go for the uh, system dot out dot printer length then we can go for the here so if you want to go for the uh, system dot out dot printer length yes if you want to go for the system dot out dot printer length now see s y s o control space double quotations logic for sleeping this is we can write down here and then uh, we can go for here another one is and another one is we can go for right this is i can go for that another function public and static and this we are calling as a i'm declaring y and this we are calling as a e thing we can write it and this is a open braces of that and the system dot out dot printer lane you can write just to double click logic for and e thing this is a common method side writer this is we are calling as a static information just i'm declaring the static information and coming to the here static information and this is we can go for the static information yeah and this is and here i can go for that non static information non static information this is we can write it here we can write public uh we can write the string this is a string i can go for the string uh here this is a like this string and uh, we can go for the name this is a public this is a non static variable public again string surname i can go for that so this is we are calling as a non static uh, variable we are calling and here is giving the string is uh, somewhat a uh, spelling mistake that we can go for here this we are calling as a string and then i can go for here another one is another non static method this is public why we are not mention any string keyword that is only non static then i can go for the interested game this is we can go for interested game and this is we can write it here and this is a uh, i can go for the here same manner i want to print system dot out dot printer len logic for interested game this is we can write it and uh, i can go for here this is a uh, interested game and this is a uh, we can go for this is a uh, i can go for the logic second i think my system is facing a lot of problems
try so i can write another method public it's a while and uh, this is we are calling as another one is uh, public void and now i can go for the study this is we are calling as a non static method we are calling that is a uh, system dot out dot interland logic for and study this is we can go for the our all the static information and non static information we need to go for that so this we are calling as a static information and non static information and we can go for that okay so like that we can go for the static to non static in this manner we can declare the static information and non static information so whatever we have discussed diagram that we need to go for here okay na so this we are calling as a public class class name this is we are calling as a class in this class we can declare the static information this we are calling as a static information because of i am using all right so now we can go for the here in this manner static information we can go for that and then non static information we can go for like this so this is a way we can go for the here all our static and non static information okay na